place is mine. I gotta do something. Like what? I call the police? I don't know. What, your own father? I let you in here. And I have listened to your garbage. And now I'm going to tell you what I told you before. I want you to stay away from my daughter. If you don't stay away from my daughter, your life is going to be absolutely worthless. Are we clear, you little bastard? Now I'd like to pick my house. I don't know where you go is. Or my wife. Or my daughter. I'm going to end you. I'm going to end you. You're either going to be dead or in prison. Now you get the hell out of here! Don't say another word. Don't say another word. You just don't say another word. Oh, you really gotta get this. Don't shoot your hands. Say another word. Say another word. You walk out of here in one piece right now, or you never walk again. Freaking out. Well, yeah, did you hear my dad? Yes, I heard him. Do you understand why I have to do this? Now do you see why this is my only choice? Hey, sweetie. Mom, don't look at your eyes. Sorry. Did you do okay after school today? Yep. Where's Marcy? Over there. Well, you look about as good as I feel. Being with Shane was actually the high point of a really crummy day. Well, thank you for watching as well. Hey, are you kidding? It's no problem. No problem. So what happened to your day? Hmm? Come on. Come on, don't you know by now that there's nothing you can't tell me? I don't want to dish to you about one of your friends. One of my friends is giving you trouble? Well, what is it? I had a not very nice talk with Adriana. I think that she is stressed about the wedding. I'm sure. But when I first met her, I thought, no wonder Rex loves her. She's beautiful, smart, and sweet. Now I think she's beautiful, smart, and a bitch. What's up with that? I'm sorry, but you need to leave right now. Honey, we're working on a wedding here, and I appreciate that, but I have to work on the groom, and he is going to be here. Hi. Hi. Mom and Rayla were just telling me that they have to go. Did you make a stop on your way here? What? Well, I thought you beat me by 20 minutes, but I saw you race up here as I pulled in. Right. I went to go pick up some wine, and it's being delivered, and that's why you don't have it with you? Mm-hmm. Mom, Layla, I know you have things to do, so you don't have to stay here and entertain me and Rex. <laughs> if you insist. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Uh -oh. We're going to have a lot we need to talk about in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, I cannot wait. Thank you for all your help. Yeah. Ciao. Uh, Abbiato. Mm-hmm. Finally. You kind of gave them the bum's rush, didn't you? You know what? I don't care. You wanted me to see John and Ty in bed together? Well, now I didn't like doing it like that, but I knew you had to see it with your own eyes. Yeah, well, you could have given me a heads up. Would you have believed me if I told you Saeed and McBain were sneaking around behind your back? See, I didn't think so. But you have to know the kind of man John McBain really is, and you have to see that for yourself. Do you have any idea what that felt like for me? Yes, yes, I do. And I'm sorry about the sting aspect. But I'm not sorry to know the truth. Now, don't be too hard on Saeed. She just 
fell victim to McBain's pouty stuff. Not that he's not going to screw her over like every other woman he's ever been with, but she's a good cop, and I don't want this this thing with McBain to uh, jeopardize her. Okay, so I'm sorry again about what I did, but I'm not sorry you know. Thanks. Okay, I guess. Okay. I know you hate McBain, and I know you want everyone else to hate him, too, but I, I needed to know the truth. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Now, one more thing. You think you can work with the two of them? Because I can't change their status here yet. I can handle it. Not a word. We need to talk. The time for talking was before you started sleeping with John. Now, I'm going to go have a drink, and then I'm going to go pick up my daughter. In the meantime, I want you to stop by the loft, and I want you to take out anything and everything that belongs to you. And I mean everything. You got a hell of a nerve.